what's up guys so what i'm gonna do in this video is show you exactly what a cracked heat exchanger will look like when it's uh furnace is coming on so um i'm about to get this furnace started and i'll show you what to look for and how it's going to look when it's uh when something's not right all right you want to make sure your door is on so it doesn't have any effect on the, the flames on the flames okay um, once it gets going you'll be able to see they look really average they look normal but the thing you want to look for is once your blower kicks on that's really going to be the tail sign if you have a bad heat exchanger or not right. so right now see the flames are they look fine so we'll wait another 10 seconds or so and let this blower come on Now on these middle two right here. It's your number one indication without you even having to do a visual inspection. You just watch the, the burners first. Look how bad that's rolling out. So once you've identified there's a crack in, in your heat exchanger, the first thing you want to do is disable this thing so it cannot run. Um, so I, I disabled the igniter. I mean, yes, if they came back in here they could do it, but this is for my sake, my conscience, knowing that I am preventing them from injuring themselves through this. Uh, you could take off something on the gas valve or turn the gas valve off and find wherever your gas cutoff is and we'll cut the gas off to it and then I'll usually turn the breaker off too so they'll have to do a couple steps to get it to work but uh, that's not the point the point is I'm making sure before I leave that this uh, furnace cannot operate until it's been fixed so it's nothing to do with money making money it's about safety and keeping people from potentially dying from it <clears throat> all right So, um, if you don't have an inspection camera, you should probably get one, but before you use your camera, you uh, always do the flame test. You'll watch them before your blower comes on, and once your, then you'll watch it once your blower comes on. If you see any rolling of the flame coming out, or even if you see like an orange popping down inside the tubes, um, then it's a reason to be concerned. If it's not as obvious as it is with this one with me, you still should get your inspection camera and take a look at it. Um, it maybe you think that it might be or might not be, but it, when you know for sure like this one, it, it, you know you, there's no reason to go any further with it. All right, just finished over here. Um, pe people can be so daggum ignorant sometimes. Um, so, you know, I mean, I understand when you, you assume companies are lying to you or trying to trying to make money or whatever but um, when it comes to something like that it's it's pretty serious and I had video evidence to show them pictures um, all kind of evidence so um, you know this it's really hard to argue with actual evidence right in front of you but the guy said he was gonna take a look at it himself when he got home from work 
and he would decide if he thought it was cracked or not. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, good luck, good luck with that. But the, you know, I had to explain to him what a heat exchanger even was. So I'm not sure what he's gonna, what he's gonna do. Anyways, the the point is, anytime you find a, a bad heat exchanger, cracked heat exchanger. Um, rolling out whatever whatever the situation is disable the furnace first and foremost and then <clears throat> you need to if you I'm sure you probably everyone that's watching does invoicing and stuff you make sure you put an invoice furnace is not safe to operate furnace is disabled and then you can put in the bottom your whatever company it is is not liable if customer turns furnace back on and that way you cover all your bases and make sure that that's not on your hands anymore. You did what you were supposed to do. You turned the, the furnace off. You did, um, you know, you found it. You potentially kept them from harming themselves with the uh, carbon monoxide. And what they decide to do after that is on them. As long as you've done all the steps to make sure that you've done what, you, what you're supposed to do. So I hope this, um, I hope this helps somebody. And um, you don't see that every day. So it's pretty cool to get it on film anyways. All right, so we'll um we'll see you at the next video. Peace.